Hi there! In this episode of Building Wilda, we're starting the cockpit makeover and we'll show you our progress so far. This uh, cockpit area is suddenly looking twice as big. Um, and the salon has opened up into the cockpit. And is, at least to me, a beautiful space now. Ah, sadly, we'll have to fill up some of this to get the steering in and such, but. Well, I've still got another two windows to cut, so there will be even more light and openness here. What a transformation! The other day Rox and I m measured out and uh, cut this piece of uh, uh, foam that I'm now glassing. It's uh, the top of our future day bed and the day bed will be here. So we marked out uh, a lot of the day bed but uh, we didn't finalize the, the, the marking. So I'm doing that now. Working with a laser helps a lot and gives me the opportunity to make sure that everything will be straight here and uh, the steering side as well. Thank you. 
yeah, uh, this really didn't go well at all. This side looks decent. There's uh, a few well, air pockets and it's not properly adhered to the foam everywhere. But this side looks all right. I don't know what I managed to do here, but this side is terrible. I don't know if it's salvageable or, or not. I've got huge gaps all over the place and the sides are barely stuck on at all. Yeah, don't know what to do about this. If I can. And then the parts don't look bad at all. This corner is bad, but otherwise, fairly solid. Don't know what happened here. I really don't like laminating foam. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Learning, I guess, every day, but I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. I'm uh, making parts for for the uh, step that will cover the steering mechanism and uh, cables going from cables and water going from starboard to port. Uh, it's going to be a decent sized step, so <laughs> a little bit bigger than I would have wished, but the only way I can well, it's the best and simplest way that I can. Uh, Rewrite the, uh, the steering. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. When it rains, it pours. up to my chin. Won't stop fighting to the very end. I've laid up a couple of uh, foam panels. This will be the step uh, coming from the uh, cockpit into the salon. And I've been having some trouble with uh, uh, the temperature outside and temperature. It's getting cold here. Uh, today is a nice day, but. Here I have a little preheating system set up. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but it works. <laughs> Plans change when you're building a boat. So, what was going to be a day bit is now going to be a seat and I'll have a breakfast table here that collapses into a day bed. This of course leaves no space for my batteries here but after some thought I'm pretty sure I can squeeze them in here uh, and still leave enough space for, say, spices or something in front. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes.
So I have a plan for the steering. So move the steering from central position here to the side. And that means I need to put in a couple of blocks. Uh, and the autopilot. And I've now managed to line it all up as good as I can. And I'll be able to split the difference of the angle from up here. Perhaps not ideal, but since I can move this rocket sideways, I can put it just between the two exits of the sheep below, and then uh, over uh, this distance of about one meter or ninety centimeters, I'll only have a a sideways movement that's say like maybe like five millimeters or so between the two sheets so should be fine it's not ideal it would have ideally been straight but uh, it'll work I'll, I'll reach up to hold your sunlit face feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace Oh, I hope this feeling lasts Till the oceans turn to glass Hey guys, thanks for watching and we'll show you more of our progress in the next episode.